Hey everybody, it's Kelly on wine and whatever. Yes, I am back to bring my wine reviews back to you and I'm gonna bring a little bit of whatever else I feel like talking about as well. So I hope that's cool. I've gotten such nice messages over the last few years from you guys asking me to do the wine reviews again, telling me that you missed them and you needed them. And I said, you know what? They're thirsty out there. They totally need help. <laughs> um, basically what happened before with my wine reviews is I trusted a couple people to do the technical stuff and they just decided that they knew way more than me about the show in general and they totally hijacked my channel and so my channel is really in never never far far away YouTube land never to be gotten back again I have tried <laughs> and it's okay because you know what sometimes you just need a new start and if you did watch my wine reviews before you can see that I am in a totally different kitchen I'm in actually a whole new state I'm in Texas I have uh, concrete countertops I don't know what that means but <laughs> anyway I want to share my wine knowledge with you I'm not a wine expert but I am a wino and self-proclaimed and the things that you guys have told me out there is that it helped you to go into a store and feel confident and have a little bit a little bit of knowledge and that's all you need when it comes to buying wine or selecting wine at a restaurant or whatever so I just thought you know what I'm gonna be there for my people and start drinking and trying some other wines that I have never even tried so we're going to learn about these wines together and then rant and whine about whatever else if you have things that you want to rant about or share with me please um, leave your comments down below and I will also always leave links for um, the wine that I review so you will know a little bit more about it and um, hopefully you know you can find the wines that I am reviewing but just so you know there's like thousands and thousands of wines out there and I totally understand it gets super intimidating when we go into a store even now there are times I go into a store and I'm like I don't even know or I'm at a restaurant and I'm looking at the list and I'm like I don't even know so don't be afraid to ask not to say that the person who works at the, 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 the liquor store or wherever you're at will know or necessarily direct you towards something that is going to be up your alley. There's so many gazillions of different flavors and tastes, so it's just trial and error, and that's all you can do. So that's how I've learned, and um, I wanna help you guys to just be able to spend a little bit of money, and once in a while you can spend a little bit more if you feel like splurging, but just in general, like everyday wines, let's just find everyday wines that like totally are easy and you don't freak out because you're like, oh my God, I spent like $30 and I don't even like this wine. Look, <clears throat> I believe that if you know a little bit about wine, you can go into a store and for about eight to twelve dollars you can find a totally decent drinkable wine and you know what at eight dollars if you totally hate the wine when you get it home don't drink it like give it to your neighbor there's always somebody around that will be like nur, 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 you know what i mean so just don't be afraid to experiment have your own little wine tastings at home go on a friday night and buy three bottles of wine and say, okay, let's just open these and let's just do a little random taste test. Pretend you're like in, in Napa Valley, like one of my favorite places on the planet. If you guys ever go, please message me and I'll tell you um, some of the vineyards that I absolutely adore. I'm not gonna leave links to those because I don't share them with everyone. Top secret. So, okay, let's have some wine. This is, um, a Cabernet Sauvignon uh, called Bliss and it is um, a California red okay now Cabernets are red Cabernets are a grape Merlot 
I don't really like Merlots. Um, it's not because of the movie. I just don't really dig them. Merlots are a grape. Zinfandel is a grape. Pinot Noir is a grape. So when you go in and you go, well, I don't know if I want a cab. I don't know if I want that. You're not going to know until you start tasting them, my friends. So you've got to get out of your comfort zone and start buying some stuff. I'm not saying buy crap. I'm not saying buy $50, $100 bottles. Just buy a couple things and then you're gonna go, well, I kinda like that, I kinda like that. So when you go into the stores and you find someone who actually knows what they're talking about, they're gonna be able to help you. They're gonna go, well, are you more geared towards this or that? Okay, this is a cab. Cabs tend to be on the heavier side. So the spectrum kind of runs like heavier to lighter Pinot Noir. So cab heavy, cab, cab, okay, how do I help you to remember this? Like cab, like a, okay, like a cab driver, like a cab driver could be, babe, what am I saying right now? <laughs> that was not that nice, but it's kind of true and it's gonna stick in your head. Okay. I'm gonna shut up. Let's open this wine. I'm gonna give you a super quick tutorial on this. It is a regular corkscrew. Don't spend money on those super fancy wah, 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 wah. I hate those things. I hate those things. Stop sending me wine openers for Christmas. Just stop. I got one. This is, um, this is stainless steel. It's a little bit, you know, this is about like a $20 corkscrew, but it's good. I've had this forever. So what you're gonna do, start from scratch. You're gonna open up the knife side. You're gonna go, this is foil on the top. And don't be mistaken, there's tons and tons of wines out there that have corkscrew, um, that are just screw off. Thank you, oh, I haven't even been drinking yet. The screw off tops, that's not a bad thing. It used to be frowned on, it's not now. It's sort of more environmentally friendly and um, so totally don't even be mistaken when you see that. Okay, so take your knife and what you're gonna do is literally cut off the top of, I didn't do a very good job, the foil, okay? You gotta get to the cork before we get to the, lose the knife, open up this corkscrew part so what you're gonna do is place that guy right in the middle. Place it in the middle. This one's a little wacky. All right, so you're going to, here, start it like this. Right in the middle, okay? And if you're new to it, just keep it on the counter and start screwing down. Now once you get down a little further, you can take this side, hold it with your thumb. Let's, let's screw down a couple more times. You can go almost all the way. Okay, get down there with your thumb, just like that, and start to pull. You don't, don't do it super fast. Don't look all like ah, super fancy, because what's gonna happen is a lot of times that cork is gonna break in there and you are Okay, so this one's super easy. It's a, it's a young wine, so it's easy. So pop that out. You don't need to smell it and eh, leave it. You're gonna take this, <clears throat> pour it into your glass. I don't care what kind of glass you use, it doesn't really matter. And yeah, you are still gonna swish it because you wanna get, even this, this is a young wine, this is a 2013. You're still gonna wanna get a little bit of air in there and sniff it. If it smells like vinegar, it looks like vinegar. <laughs> no, if it smells like vinegar, it's vinegar. So take a whiff, this is not vinegar, thank God. But if it is, and let's say you're at a restaurant and they're giving you a little taste before they leave you with the wine, do not be afraid to tell them that it's not good. Plenty of bottles every day are bad. Just know that and they will see for themselves and they'll bring you another bottle. Don't overthink it and do not sit there and drink vinegar. Do not, you're paying for this, okay? So if, if your Coke was flat, you wouldn't drink it. You get a new Coke, same thing. Or soda, as some of you people say. Okay, so it smells nice, let's try it. Mm. I keep swishing it because I think, it, again, it just gets the flavor going a little bit more. Mm. I think this is really nice. This is 12, 12 bucks, okay? So I don't expect it to be incredible, but I expect it to be nice. And this just tastes like 
tons of blueberries to me. And since I moved to Texas, I don't really um, eat fruit. <laughs> what? No, I I'm serious, you guys. I don't eat fruit. Like, I'm eating like a kolacha, kolache. I'm eating like, um, like, I don't even know. But there's no fruit. There's no fruit. There is fruit available. I'm just not eating it. So I'm drinking it. That's it. Okay, so. I think this is a, is a very nice wine. It's not heavy um, as far as a cab goes, even though it's heavier than, let's say, a Pinot Noir, which is a, what? Grape, yes. It's, it's a little heavier than my normal style would be, but I could totally order this at a restaurant or have a glass and be very happy with it. So don't be afraid to, t you're not gonna find this at every um, market, you're not gonna find this at every liquor store, but if you do find it, then scoop up a bottle, why not? Try it out. I picked basically this bottle because I'd heard good things about it, but also just because of the name, um, Bliss. And what I believe right now has happened to me after the last two and a half years have kicked my ass. I mean, literally kicked my ass to the point where there were days I literally didn't know if I was gonna get up again. I really didn't. And all I can tell you guys is I've learned so much about myself. I've learned so much about other people and who sticks around during the hard times. And you know what? It's very few people, but it's okay because that's just part of it, I guess. I mean, I have amazing friends, but I think I have more amazing friends than I've ever had because of the last two and a half years, because the real ones have stuck it out with me and man, they have just like, just been bright, bright lights for me. So what I want to leave you guys with tonight is we can find our bliss. And that's why I chose this bottle. We can find it, but it takes work and it takes knowing that in those hardest, hardest times of our lives, just stick with it. Just stay with those moments and know that each moment is gonna get a little easier and a little easier and a little easier because that's just how it works. And as soon as I thought it got easier, there were some setbacks for sure, for sure. But in the end, if I look back, I say, you know what? Thank you, universe. Thank you, whoever you want to thank. I'm glad that those things happened to me because I know that the people that have been brought to me because of those things were meant to be here. And I am so thankful and I'm so happy and I'm so stoked to be drinking wine with you again. And um, I can't wait for my next episode. I'm gonna bring a little bit more Texas style and although I haven't really found like super great Texas wine that I've loved, I'm California wines, you can't beat it, you guys. You can't beat it, unless you're in Italy or France. I don't think you can beat it. I really don't. But I'm gonna try to find some stuff that is enjoyable and delicious and not crazy expensive. So again, go out there, walk yourself into the liquor store, walk yourself into the market and say, you know what? I'm gonna ask around, even if someone else is there shopping, go, hey, what are you getting? That's what I do. You never know who you'll meet. <laughs> and, and then just see what happens because it's such a super social thing. Just get over the hump so you're not back there buying a damn six pack of God knows what. Yeah, I'm from Kansas. I know a six pack, okay? I'm no stranger. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see you guys next time, Texas style and thanks for hanging with me and I hope um, you guys enjoyed it. And again, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, leave them down below and I will hit you back as soon as possible. All right, see you next time. Bye, cheers.